like, hi, is that Chris? I said, yes. She went, hi, it's Michelle. And I was like, and my missus is looking at me going, Who, who's this? Who's Michelle? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I was like, shh. She went from the Porsche garage. I was like, all right, hi, Michelle. How are you? And yeah. my, my missus is now really looking at me. Hi, good morning. Uh, on this lovely sunny day, we've got Chris. Hi. He's traveled all the way from up north via train to look at this Ferrari and drive it away today. So this is a test drive with Chris and hopefully his experience of all the supercars he's owned and why California. Yeah, let's let's drive it and you know hear more more from yourself with what it's like with the roof up, the roof down. I'll just leave the roof up, mate. <laughs> Not really. Not really. Let me just put this back up. Yeah. What made you want to get a California? I mean, you've got quite a few. No, I just thought you know it was a really nice example of a California, uh -huh. and uh, it's like you know it's something I can probably I don't know. It's a nice toy to have. I'm not going to lose any money on it. It's, yes. You know, it's, it's nice, uh, something different to drive. Mm -hmm. So the four five eight Italia you had was that. You, was that yours? Was that something you owned? The 458 Italia was a friend of mine's. Uh, okay. One of my car. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, and what was your experience with the 488? 488, I had for extended test drive when I was deciding whether to buy it or not. Um, it's a great car, fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. the, the reason I went for the Hurricane in the end was just purely down to it was a lot more power. Just, I just, uh, you could use it every day in fact you know it's, it's so much so easy to drive sedately it's not just you know a, a, an out and out like you know flying machine where the ferrari the 488 it wasn't as happy around town as, as a, a hurricane yeah. a hurricane is essentially a giant normal car so you, you can literally drive it like a normal car there's no you know you could put your missus in it with the kids and send her to the other side of the country in the worst storm ever yeah and as long as she didn't change the anima settings she'd be there mm -hmm. in one piece at the other end it's not a, it's such an easy car to drive as long as it was in the ferrari settings. yeah exactly the ferrari is a different animal um the build quality as well on a lamborghini is far superior to a ferrari or mm -hmm. a mclaren the, the reason I didn't choose the McLaren, the McLaren was a perfect out of the three. Yep. The 600 LT was a purist's car. Okay. Fantastic to drive. Uh -huh. But the build quality wasn't there. So you've got the shut lines, for example, on either side of the bonnet. One was like 16 mil and one was 6 mil. There's, you know, and to me, that's just not acceptable when you're paying that type of money for a car. The build quality just wasn't there. No way. And then the Ferrari is, uh -huh. again, is a bit more temperamental than, than a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini's bulletproof. Wow. You can do 18,000 miles a year in it if you want. It's not, you know, it'll, Incredible. It's, it's just such a robust car. The oh. German influence is evident in it. Well, the German influence is yeah. evident in it. I mean, it's yeah. an Italian supercar, but yeah. the togetherness and, and the reliability aspect of the Germans, you know, mm -hmm. it, when you drive the three cars back to back, like I did, yeah. You can just, you know, you, you know what I mean. It's like, uh -huh. that's why I chose the... Uh, just, just if we can turn right there and we'll just spin back yeah. around. Shall we drive it with the roof down as well? Just, no, just it's all right. Yeah. I'll, I'll just... Uh, just to experience it, you know, just to experience the roof mechanism going down. I'm, I'm cool with cool. the roof, man. Okay, all right. It's very, this is like, it's like the rattles and squeaks. This is the thing with a Ferrari. Yeah. You don't get that with a Lamborghini. Everything's oh, you don't? solid. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm very keen to see if that uh, Lamborghini, if we will get the Lamborghini on, on Thursday. Uh, I think in terms of supercars, uh, you know, we've had a McLaren 570S. I know it's not a 600 LT. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to brake hard, mate, all right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, no worries. The, the, there are the ceramic brakes on this, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Mm. 
Same DCT box as a Lamborghini. So if you pull both paddles yep. at the same time, neutral goes into neutral. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What does that allow you to check, especially if you're so listening to the engine? Um, it's you know it's a V8. I've got uh -huh. I've got a V8 Cayenne turbo. Yep. Um, it's a nice sounding engine. This. Uh, okay. You know, it's free revving. You know, it's like if there's any resistance there. Just listening to you know if there's any stutters or flat spots or hesitancies. Uh huh. You can you can hear that when you put it in neutral. Yeah. So, what do you daily drive at the moment? Probably my Cayenne. The Cayenne Turbo. What, what year is the Cayenne Turbo? Is this 16? 16, so... That's the third generation, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you think of it? Fantastic. Yeah. It's the best SUV in the world. I've tried a Urus, I've tried... There's nothing beats my Cayenne, nothing. Unbelievable. No Fabulous value for money, reliable, uh -huh. comfortable, luxurious, fast, wow. brilliant. Yeah. Uh, fantastic car. Lovely. No, no, and no. I will replace it with a new Turbo S. There's no, there's no yeah. other, you know, for me. Yeah. They gave me a Hurricane, uh, uh, a, a Urus, Urus yeah. as a, a courtesy car uh -huh. last month when okay. I put my Lamborghini in for service. Okay. And it was fabulous car. Yep. But not, not a hundred grand better than the Cayenne. Definitely yeah. not. And it's got a Cayenne engine anyway, so you know what I mean. No, I, I didn't know. Cayenne yeah. engine. Yeah, yeah. So the four liter V8 twin turbo is the same block yep. in the Cayenne, the Bentayga, the Urus, and the RSQ8. Unbelievable. It's all shared technology, owned by a Volkswagen Audi Group. Obviously, so in the, Q, the majority in the shareholder. So in the Q8. Yeah. Well, in the RSQ8. The RSQ8, the, the Cayenne turbo, the Bentayga. And the Urus all share the same 4-litre V8 twin-turbo engine. Unbelievable. The cylinder heads are different. They're different levels of tuning on uh -huh. you know, them all, but it's the, same, it's the same block. Incredible. Which is a great engine. Have you, yeah. I've got a Cayenne uh, turbo, the third generation of stock well, I've got, the stock. I've got what's called a Tech Art Magnum, so it's a rare car. Yeah, okay. So it's, it's a Cayenne Turbo S that's been taken okay. to Tech Art and had about 60 grand spent on it, so it's... It's a one-off, like, it's a special car. It's a, it's a 200 mile an hour car. Incredible. And that's got, it's got ceramic brakes, it's got everything. Uh -huh. Full carbon body kit, carbon, ex uh, uh, titanium exhaust. Yeah. It, it, it will keep up with this. It is as fast as this. And it's a family car. But yeah. And the exhaust uh, obviously must produce a much uh, you know, it must produce an amplified sound in comparison to the turbo exhaust that comes from factory. Correct. Because yeah. the turbo exhaust from factory is, is, is it sounds amazing. I mean, it's very yeah, quirky. it does. Yeah, but I mean, when you've got a, a Miltec titanium exhaust yeah. on it, it's a different animal again. It just sounds oh, fantastic. Yeah. The neighbours aren't too keen on it. But yeah. On a, on morning, a cold start, probably. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's really must, loud. Yeah. yeah. On the morning when I turn it on, sitting on the drive, the neighbours are like. It is loud. Yeah. But it's a lovely noise, really yeah. nice. Yeah. If we want stuck behind the lorry, the nicest bit of road that you can find any, any well anywhere around here is this, is this straight bit of road. And you get you get close to about I'd say 600 meters, but it's a beautiful run. It's a lovely run. Yeah. Um, but. It's just a shame that we'll nah, we'll turn around and go yeah. back that way anyway. So, yes, yeah, so, so, sorry about that, but this is it's a nice yeah. old jug. It is. It had a for sale sign on it. I mean, seeing the Lamborghini in your garage, um, I mean, you've got a very quirky taste when it comes to. Uh, up here or? Yeah, it, we're just going to turn. It, it literally joins uh, the main road back up again. Uh, you've got a very quirky choice. Uh, well, uh, I mean, how can I put it? Uh, you've got a very quirky mind when it comes to cars. Um, cars, bikes, yeah, everything yeah. to do with petrol. It's you know, it's like I do, yeah. I do. Um, do, do you I go? Do, like do you go out on the Lamborghini? Do you take it? Yeah, out? now and then. 
Yeah. It's meant to be ridden, isn't it? It's you know, uh -huh. it's a nice ornament, but at the same time, it's you yeah. know, it's fun. Um, what, what about your kids? Is it just the one? I've kid got a got? little boy, Jack. He's six. Um, he's got a little Yamaha PW50 motorbike. So. Uh -huh. not very fast compared to what I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about speed this though, is it? It's, yeah, you know I mean? no, no, it isn't. Definitely, definitely not about speed. I think the Californias are definitely the, 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 the affordable, the, you know, the, the, the comfortable one. Yeah, exactly. It's much more sedate, the, isn't it? That's yeah. the thing, yeah. But, I mean, the car you're going to practically... The Hurricane's unbelievable. So fast. Yeah. So fast. The Hurricane's. Yeah, you literally... Before you put your foot down, you need to be looking so far down the road because it's it, it covers ground that yeah. quickly. It's uh, it's extremely and, fast. Yeah. Are they four wheel drive? Yeah, they, they are. Okay, yeah. it's like uh, it and is. It's it's an intelligent four wheel drive system though, so it can it can send up to 50 50 front and rear oh, wow. or 80 20. So it's you can literally you know what I mean. Depending on the road conditions, it will. It, yeah, it senses that, it monitors yeah, that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So and what sort of a gearbox does that have? So mine's got a seven-speed uh, DSG type automatic okay. box, uh, very similar to the DCT in a Ferrari or... Yeah. The DSG is what's used in the Audi, isn't Exactly, it? yeah. No. So it's very similar to that. And obviously the DCT in this is what you normally find in the BMWs. Yes, that's right, yeah. yeah. So it's basically a double clutch, it's, like, it's essentially yeah. a, it's a motorbike system. Yeah. It's uh, it's one of the simplest gearboxes in the world. Mm -hmm. it, it's you know it's a linear, so uh, like a Steptronic yeah. gearbox. It's very very easy. So was was there a change in the Hurricane between 2015 to 2018? Yeah. Well, in 2018 they, they revised the Hurricane, so it's ah, uh, so yours is the my, the last the, of the old. Oh, yours is the last of the old. Yeah. That's the generation I'll be getting. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Uh, it's a fabulous car. So they, yeah. they, they basically, the, the major change was the infotainment system in okay. the middle. So you you now get a bigger TFT okay. screen in the middle where mine hasn't. I've still got the full LED dash, yeah. um, but the, it now comes with an additional screen. And then obviously okay. they've gone on to make the Evo version of it yeah. um, you know and, and the performant yeah. and, you know other other variants of the car yeah. but it is a fabulous car oh. they did I mean they did an LP5 580 as well um, mm -hmm. two which is a rear wheel drive car yeah. but um, the LP610 4 which I've got is genuinely a usable supercar it's a wow. fabulous car it really, yeah. really is I'd love to, you know, hopefully we get, we get that on Thursday. Um, and I think it's, it's something we would have got earlier if it wasn't for the fact that, because we specialize in the Porsches, and we think Porsche is a better car than any other car, if that makes sense. Oh, I totally um, agree. Um, I've, got, I've got a 911, yeah. as well as a Cayenne. I love my 911. What it's 911 fabulous. is that? I've got a 997 shape, old one, Carrera S. Rear wheel drive, manual car, yeah. non sunroof, Ab absolutely fabulous car. Wow. What year is that? It's a 2006. 2006, wow. And it is six I speed, mean, 3.8 litre. Yeah. yeah. Full rest, that is, isn't it? It's the wide body. It's the 2S. Oh, it's the 2S. Yeah, it's really, it's the, yeah. the one to have. Yeah. So it's a wide body rear wheel drive car mm -hmm. rather than the four. So it's yeah. a proper driver's car. It yeah. will bite you on the arse if you're not careful. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's got sport chrono. It's a, it's a genuine sport chassis from the factory. Hard yeah. back seats. Mm -hmm. uh, Bose Hi-Fi. Extended leather to dash and door cards. The car is mint. It's had one wow. owner before me. Crazy. And it's got 16 stamps in the book. All Incredible. Porsche. Incredible. Incredible. The car is absolutely flawless. 50,000 wow. miles from new. <laughs> it's probably... I'd say it's in the best five of Carrera S's in the UK. I, far, I, I, I mean, would I, definitely put money on that. It is a fabulous, yeah. fabulous car. I'll never sell that. 
You shouldn't. I don't think you should. It's literally just going up and up and up and up. In they volume. are going up. That generation has massively appreciated. I got the car for 16 and a half grand. Incredible. That's incredible value for money. Yeah. Was that a private buy? Yeah. So yeah. I was in Porsche getting my Cayenne serviced. Yeah. And there was a lady there looking really miserable. And I just said, are you okay? She said, yeah. I said, expensive service bill. She said, no, I'm here to, uh, to buy my new car. I said, well, you should be happy, surely. She went, well, you would think so. She went, but I bought my car here 15, 14 years ago. Yeah. Um, she went, I'm trading it in now. She said, it's never been anywhere else for a service, for an MOT, for any yeah. work, tires and everything comes back to Porsche Center. Okay. I'm buying the exact same car, just a new one, yeah. a brand new one. She said the car was 89,000 14 years ago. Yeah. The one I'm buying today is 117,000. Uh -huh. She went, and they've only offered me 15,000 part X. She went, where's the loyalty? And I said, look, there's my card. Give me a call if they don't offer you any more on the car. I said, I, I said I'll give you a thousand pound more than whatever the garage are offering you. Yeah. I said, because I'm after something like that as an investment for my son. Sure. Yeah. And uh, you got a call. I thought she never ring me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, two days later, I'm in the Cayenne, and the call the car call comes through. And my missus and the yeah. little one are in. Yeah. And it's like, hi, is that Chris? I said yes. She went, hi, it's Michelle. And I was like, and my missus is looking at me going, Who, who's this? Who's Michelle? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, shh. She went from the Porsche garage. I was like, all right, hi, Michelle. How are you? And yeah. my, my missus is now really looking at me. Yeah. And uh, she goes, well, she went, I was just wondering if you're still interested in the car. She said, because uh, they won't budge on the price. Yeah. I said, I'm definitely interested in the car. I said, send me your bank details. And I, I said, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you now. Yeah. She said, I've got a bit of a confession to make. And I was like, OK, Which here was? it comes. She went. It's due a service as well, which is on the fixed price, the old Porsche yeah. fixed price servicing, uh, which is 500 pounds. She said, so let's just call it 15 and a half and the deal in the, the car's yours. So she knocked another 500 quid off. And I was just like, unbelievable. I just said, listen, I sent her the full 16 anyway, because I just thought, no, you, a deal's a deal. Lovely yeah. woman and Lovely so woman, honest yeah. as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I got the deal of the century. The next that day, is. my mate offered me 25 for the car. Yeah, when he saw it, he was like, yeah. I can't believe that you've got that for that price. And then... When was this? How long ago was this? Two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. so... The car is I it's mean, my pride and joy. I love it. Even and two years ago, it. that would have been a 35, so cheap, 36 cheap car. grand car. It's a thir it's, I would say today, to value that car, I don't know. It's but, it's got to be knocking on the door forty. It's one of the best. Yes. Yeah. You know, one of the best examples. What colour is it? Black. Yeah, it's got a nice colour. Basil black metallic. Basil black. It's got the right wheels. What wheels? It's the lobster pot wheels. Yeah, the one you know, lovely, people want. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a lovely car. We turn right here, yeah. by the way, Chris. Yeah. Where's the nearest petrol station around here? Uh, if you just turn right. Uh, so the nearest train station is back towards Solbridgeworth. Yeah, I'm not going to the train station, petrol station. No, 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 sorry, it's just, you just yeah, yeah. go uh, back towards Solbridgeworth. The way I'm heading home is M11, then it... Then it oh, no, no, there will be one on the M11. I will give will you I the... Will I get there as well? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah you, you well, will 50 get there. 50 miles in the tank, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you'll get there. You absolutely... Just take it out of sports mode, isn't it, you know, when you're driving oh, I've took it. it out of sports mode now, mate. Perfect. In, oh, you have, thank you. It's in sensible mode, yeah. Thank you, thanks. I mean, I had a notice that it was just going to hit reserve when we test drove it. It literally just came on. And if you if you don't mind me asking, I mean, you, you said you were in the army. Yeah, I was. Was that in the special forces? I, I was actually in a parachute regiment. So. Okay. Oh God, yeah. so you you parachute? Yeah. yeah. So, what, I mean, what you do now? You you're jeweler. You you do jewellery. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I'm in finance predominantly. I have. Uh, I'm in corporate finance. Okay. So that's how I know the guys along the road. Okay. But uh, I do a bit of buying and selling watches. I okay. do. Um, I, I've got a number of businesses. So, mm -hmm. what's your key line of work? Probably finance. Finance. And is that sort of what land? I introduce professional services from you know different business users to other different business users. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, it's. Uh, so that's a that's a massive change of career. How do you go from? So I, I did economics before I went into the army so I studied okay. economics so I've always had like a 
So what you made know, you want to go into that army? Mind. I mean, just the challenge. Okay, you wanted to challenge yourself yeah, yeah. just to see what you could do. Yeah. You've driven the Ferrari. You've got to normally put it in neutral to switch it off. Yeah, there's no park, is there? No, uh, no, there is park. If you put it in neutral, if you just turn it off, park should activate automatically. Where's the bonnet release on this machine? One second, just checking. It might be on your end. No worries. I'll just have a quick look at your end. Do you want to come out? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know where it is, mate. No worries. That's the that's the furthest the door will come out. Yeah. Okay. Is that? That's the fuel cap. Yeah, and no, does it is it is it uh, locked with the car or? One second, I'll I'll, sh I'll open that as well. That's the engine. So, sorry, Chris, you got a quick minute just to show you the fuel cap. Sorry. So the fuel cap button is right here. Oh yeah, right. You're yeah. saying yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. Obviously, it's not opening right now because it's switched on. Yeah. And that's the rear bonnet. Yeah, yeah. So. I, I still wanted to open the roof just to get you to see the roof. Yeah, mate, open the roof if you want. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me open it anyway. Okay, that camera is not going to interfere. I was just worried about the camera at the front. <laughs> and just one uh, one other thing I wanted to show you. Just one moment, please. Yeah. Okay. This is where. Sorry, man. Just... Yeah. So basically, you've got the shelf, haven't you? Yes. So when exactly. when the roof's not stowed, it's yep. got an extra storage compartment. It's almost like a. <laughs> it's, it's almost like a completely new layer. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, this is going to shock you. This is where your wind deflector hands <laughs> stalls. Yeah, yeah. It falls in half, but there's a bit of a there, there's a bit of a trick to it. There's a locking mechanism to it, and all your original toolkit is yeah, yeah. everything's here. Fabulous. Nothing's uh, you know nothing's missing from it. You know it's not been opened up. None of these things have been opened well, that up. That literally just lifts. Yes. Once yeah. the roof's yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I mean we can close That's the roof, cool, but yeah. I'd rather you experience it a little bit like this yeah. and this is uh, sorry yeah. a, a lot of people smash these yeah but what I because this has a soft closing mechanism to it so if you just do that so it's just a uh, cool. something that I've picked up uh, thanks very much for this mate